Hey everyone, Daniel Whitlow here. So I thought I'd take a moment today uh, before this G goes on to its new owner and uh, talk about the hydraulics on this system, specifically the power troll. Uh, so I get a lot of questions about, um, you know, how do you do the, basically the three point arms or install hydraulic remotes. So this G, when I got it, was already hooked up uh, for hydraulics. And uh, you can see that um, on the power troll units, there are two couplers or plugs in here. So normally what came on the tractor were dummy plugs and I don't have a set here with me, uh, but it's basically a plug kind of like this, but it, it's hard capped on the end. And those go in there and then there's seals in there. So it's kind of like the old version of the modern uh, removal hydraulics today. To remove those dummy plugs on the power troll, you've got this lever over here. Um, when you turn this sideways, um, it releases these tabs so you can pull these out. Now, I'm not going to pull these out because I've been told these can be kind of finicky. Those seals can leak. So with this in there, I just kind of want to leave it in there. We've got some other examples here for you. So if you just have, you know, capped plugs on here, you can use this lever and pull those out. And then what you have to get are these. These are like the true uh, John Deere adapters, um, and then you would you would thread in your hydraulic like Pioneer adapter or something into here, um, and then that would go in there, and you would lock it in. Now back in the day, of course, uh, the cylinders kind of went with the tractor, unlike today where the cylinders stay with the implement. Uh, so they had um, cylinder hangers, um, like a, a hook that would be on the on the back right here. Um, I have some but not on this tractor and, and the hydraulic hoses would stay hooked up and you would disconnect the cylinder and hang it on the tractor. Uh, so this wouldn't be as routine as what we do today changing out implements. Uh, you would hook the cylinder to the implement. Um, but anyway so this is an example of hydro solely hydraulics hooked up. Now you see some people where there are two pipe plugs here and you can actually remove these pipe plugs and, and put in remotes there. Uh, from my understanding, and I'll leave a pause there uh, because I can always take this out of the video if I'm wrong, someone corrects me, but people do that, but then um, if you have it that way, you're going to operate both the three-point arms, the, the lift arms, and the hydraulics at the same time. So things could be a little bit slower versus for whatever reason, when you put the actual adapters in like this, it only works the hydraulics and not the lift arms. Uh, so that is one key difference, but then you could have the ability to have both the, the lift arms and the hydraulics working. Um, and, and it's like this back in the day, uh, whichever you had, the other the dummy plug or that would go in this cover here. Then on this side was a little holder uh, that you would put them in, two of them, and then you could switch them out uh, as needed. So I'll talk about another couple of examples here of other things you might see. There are different types of power trolls. Um, so we'll, we'll talk about another type of plug here in a second. So looking down here, this is a power lift system. This is totally different from the power troll. The power lift, um, you see it had this arm here and it has the foot pedals kind of under the seat. The power lift was strictly up and down. It was the power troll when it came out where you had control over a slow or fast lift. Um, it, it was a, a very, um, a pretty big innovation uh, that John Deere put out and was certainly liked by its customers. And on any tractor that had a power lift system, you could upgrade and put the power troll on. So the bolt pattern uh, is the same to go from a power troll to a power lift. So even if you see tractors before 1947 that have a power troll, it didn't come with it on the tractor, uh, most likely. I'm not sure if any like 46s came out with them, I, I don't think, um, but, but uh, an owner could pay, it was a nominal fee even back in the day to switch it over from power lift to power troll. Because uh, the only difference really being is, is this housing. 
bolt pattern is the same. You can see this here has a different type of plug, um, and this is overall a different unit. You can see this one actually has the holder on this side where these go in. Um, and again, I've never removed these, so I, I'm not sure how these are removed, but these are an example of the dummy plugs that you need. These plugs are different. So if you are ever getting adapters like this, um, you do need to know which kind you need to get because the adapters are different for uh, this power troll unit versus like what I showed on the G a minute ago. So with that, I hope you guys learned something and uh, hopefully that'll help someone if you're trying to hook up hydraulics on your tractor. Uh, hopefully they work. Um, I've never gotten into one of these myself, although there is a manual specifically for the hydraulic units on these tractors that you can get. Um, I think I've talked about it before in another video. Uh, Peaceful Creek Manuals is typically where I go for manuals or reprints. And yeah, if you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out, tips or advice, uh, share. Um, appreciate anyone that has uh, reached out to me via email or other means talking about the projects that you guys are working on. Uh, it's great to talk to people from literally around the world uh, their various projects so uh, you can email me anytime at danielfarmchannel at gmail.com until then and the next video you all have a good day we'll catch you later